all right guys hello everyone so um i'm gonna go on a little spree of videos this week i hope if i make it it'll be around either three or four so today will be lithium so lithium is extremely dangerous actually it can react with water it can react with air but i have this little jar that i got from the dollar store with a little bit of lithium already in it the reason how i got it is because those little uh, disc cells those um CR2032 whatever 20 whatever batteries those have a little disc of lithium in it and now that little disc is in here and I could prove that it's lithium by putting it in water and then it exploding or at least like a little bit because this is such a small disc but this is a lot more lithium than a little disc so this is 7.4 volts this came in a little pack of um, one but now it's two. And this says it's 1450 milliamp hours. So there's a little, there's gonna be a little calculation, I think right here that I'm gonna put in. It's gonna be for every amp hour, multiplied by 0 0.3, 0 0.3 grams for every amp hour, equals the amount of lithium that you have. So I didn't do this calculation yet, which I'm not gonna do because this is just gonna be a straight one time video with hopefully no cuts. Um, yeah, this is 1400, 1450 and two of them, which is still 1450. So it's going to be around point, point five, maybe point four, five. I don't know. Somewhere like that. So I have, I have this, which is pipe cutters, but I have also, oh, it blended it with my shorts. So this is just small. Um, I don't. I don't even know what this is. Like jewelry cutting, I think maybe. I don't know. So we're gonna be using this to cut this battery. It is dangerous. Now the only reason it's dangerous is because if you puncture it, the positive and the negative short out, creating a fire. It could combust. When while you know the air comes in, it also reacts with lithium. So while it sparks and smokes it also combusts makes fire and then you have a bad time now these batteries are deflated because i've poked holes in them and they were a little bit uh inflated before so what i'm going to do now is because i've deflated them i know they're not going to explode now you may be wondering oh how do you know that if you if you've never done this before well yes that is true i've never done this but there is a small chance that um well actually you know there's a nice percent chance that i'm not gonna combust while taking apart a lithium battery now i've done this on a really small scale before but never you know 1400 never like and nothing over 100 i've done like 40 milliamps but not like a thousand four hundred so I'm just going to put, like, on the corner of the screen the math of how much times more of lithium this is than my, my first attempt. And my first attempt, I was extremely worried because I was, like, trying... Because I thought lithium just combusts if you hold it, which is why I have one glove. Because, you know, if I want to hold the lithium and put it in this jar, which is actually airtight, if it's airtight... Well, I know it's airtight because, because I need so much pressure to hold it. And also inside, I should actually keep that closed because there's more lithium in there. And it's not going to be like, oh, a second and it just explodes. No, you could wait like a good amount of time. Now, the best way to open this is on a table. Now, I see no table near me because you guys are sitting on the table. So what I'm going to do is layer by layer... I should probably go to the garage instead and do this. Mm. Let's go to the garage instead and do this. All right, guys, I apologize for the poor lighting uh, because, well, it's a garage. So, yep. Okay, so I searched it up while walking here. I, you, it turns out if lithium is dispersed really finely, like in a powdered form, it could spontaneously combust. So I'm not gonna be powdering it, which is, which is good. So, 
<clears throat> yep. Let's do the first one. So you... If you Remember guys, do not do this. I know what I'm doing. Do don't repeat do my do. steps. Don't repeat. It could react. It's not going to react with air, but it is going to create an oxidation layer. Now, I am outside. I could, if accidentally torn, or it inflates, I could throw this and be safe. But lithium is very toxic, creating lithium oxide. Okay. Now that this is very finely done, I could peel this, peel, hold on, peel this off. Okay, <clears throat> wow, that is a smell. Okay. I wish I had like a really, sh I wish I brought my knife with me. There we go. If you see that right there, that fine white, that is the layers with the... Wow, that stinks. Uh, with the lithium in between. That is what makes your whatever run. Your car run? Sure. Your... Whatever runs on lithium, I guess. I th think I just saw some fumes, but I have no idea. It may just be my mind playing tricks on me. It's what usually happens when I'm doing these kinds of things and I'm a little bit worried about, you know, me getting, um, dead. Should really be doing this quicker, shouldn't I? Or I guess slower. In this case, I don't know. If I do it quicker. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, uh, we should open up the jar. With it being a little bit on, so we could... Okay, let me do this a little bit closer to the phone then. All right, that top layer is aluminum. Okay, we should, I should not do that. All I need to do is not break the top layer because as soon as I do all the current from the leftover lithium, these batteries are unneeded by the way. That's why I'm doing this. If you need your batteries, do not, I repeat, do not do this. So this is what happens. Okay. There we are. There's a little piece of tape right there holding it together. Now, I didn't do this. I, I know I didn't do that, but that I maybe have done. little piece of tape can't hold me back actually no it may maybe i know i can't leave this in the open or else if it even rains on this if somebody sneezes on this it could uh no okay i as i would as i said don't do this without a glove oh no
All right, there's two layers that are going to be here. There is the one fine layer. I mean, there's three layers. There's one aluminum layer, which is this, uh, or the anode. And there's going to be the cathode layer, which is going to be the, I think, which is going to be the lithium. Oh, yeah, that is lithium and a half. That is reactive. Okay. Now there's a little bit of adhesive stuck to it. So I'm not gonna... Oh no, there's so much. Or I guess so little, because there's not even like... 3 milligrams. Or, yeah, I oh, know, 3 gram. Yeah, there's 30 milligrams. Wow, that's all that smells. That smells so much. Good thing this is well ventilated. Well ventilated, actually. Wow, that is smelly. With a capital S. Okay, now look, don't let this touch the ground. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Where do I hold? Oh no. Oh no, that's the. That's the dividing layer. Oh no. Ugh. Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna lay this on the floor. I think this is it. No. All the lithium is getting away. Okay, okay. What do I do? Okay. There we go. I got it all in. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. Oh, wait, because it... I didn't try to smell it, I just tried to feel the heat. Alright, hold on. Let me get a little bit of water to see if to see if this reacts with it. Because if that's lithium, I am not in the good spot right now. Um, you guys look after it. There we go. I'll be right back. Um, with what container? This, sure. There we go. Okay, now we just need like a little bit, something that can hold water. A little tiny piece of something that can hold water. My fingers, sure. That's good enough. Let's, let's rip this. It's a really, really small thing. Let's get my finger. react? I have no idea. <sighs> what is this? Is this the lithium? Oh no, I just touched it. No, I just touched it with my wet finger. I don't think so. I think this is the graphite layer. I think. Maybe. But it also flakes off, so I have no idea. Alright, let me... Let me get another little container. There we go. If this doesn't react with water, uh, then it's not lithium. Okay, let's see. Do we have like a little spoon or something? 
Yes, we do. Nope, it is carbon. No worry for anything. That is good. All good. Nice and nice and safe. Carbon. Now the lithium in here is actually lithium, which is good. That means I wasn't. That means this wasn't on accident. Good. Okay, all nice and nice. Now on the first one, I slightly over exaggerated because it wasn't that difficult to take apart, but I just had no idea what to do. So the second one was a lot easier because now, by, now that I know that the lithium was on the carbon, uh, was on the copper, and the carbon or graphite was on the aluminum, it is it was a lot easier to take apart. Now I put it in this, um, box that has holes in it on the top and bottom but it is mostly just to retain the temperature so it's constant because as you know lithium it likes to give off, give off gases now you may think wow there's a lot of lithium in here no it's mostly just the copper sheet now it's not going to short out because it's just two things it's lithium and copper but because it's a almost like a mixture it's not going to react with anything now if only if I wanted to, I could just stir this up like that and make all the little copper granules that's on, still on the copper fall down. But I'm not going to do that. Now, I've also not washed my hands yet because, if you know, copper likes to detonate or explode. Not really detonate. There's no fire involved. So, yeah, more like explode on contact with water. So, in my scenario, I would just have to use a towel really roughly and just leave that as my lithium towel and then wash my hands after because if you wash your hands enough if there's a, even a little bit of lithium that's fine but if there's like visible lithium like that it's gonna smoke on your hand and create a temperature differential so you will definitely feel it now this box will not pretend for, protect from fires of course because it's styrofoam first of all but it is acrylic so it's gonna be at least prevented and there's also no airflow which in it so it's not gonna you know stir up the lithium because it's not airproof like the the jar is not airproof because it could definitely be yeah it could definitely be a lot better i could put like electrical tape around it but i'm gonna use it every so often for some experiments now i've received all of the all of the items for my lab now i'm gonna move these 3d printers over there on that table and then create my my chemistry lab that was my lithium extraction video hopefully you guys are safe peace and goodbye